Hey what's going on guys, it's Chloe and welcome back to another Hypixel Skyblock video. So I started a mini series a week ago where I'm going to be doing a video on each class and make it the cheapest build for each class. Last week I did the cheapest archer build and it was actually insane. This week I'm going to do healer. So if you need a decent healer build for really cheap, stick around. But before we get into this video, I just want to say thank you for 8,000 subs. If you're not sub, make sure to hit that subscribe button because 73% of people that actually watch my videos are actually not subscribed. So let's change that. And while you're there, make sure to turn on the notifications so you don't miss any other classes. Also, if this video helps you out at all, remember to leave a like and let's get on with the video. So first off, I'm going to buy the things needed for budget healer class. I started off by buying 240 holy fragments to craft the holy armor because if you didn't know, holy armor is actually a dragon set which is made for healer. This costs around 600k by buying the frags from Bazaar. It's cheaper buying at the Bazaar, so I suggest doing that. Next, I bought the pet needed for this build, which had to be the gold pet, as it has really nice healing abilities. I bought the epic one because for one, it's much cheaper than the legendary and it's for a budget build, so, and for two, the legendary ability is for the Reaper Scythe, which we won't be using in this video. The epic gold pet cost me 440k from the auction at level one. Then I bought a combat XP boost so I could level it up fast. So altogether, the pet cost me around 500k. I decided to go with the gold pet because of its ability called Amplified Healing, which increases all healing by a percentage based on the level of the pet. I got mine to level 40 by having someone pale spam for me, which took around 10 minutes to get. At level 40 it increased healing by 10% but at level 100 it would increase by 25% so overall probably the best budget healer pair. Next I bought the cheapest healing orb which was the Radiant Orb for 25k and the Wand of Mending for 65k. I didn't do the Wand of Healing because the Wand of Mending was actually pretty cheap and it's better than the Wand of Healing so I just bought that one. Of course I need some damage items so I bought a bow and a sword. I went with the epic zombie cutlass which I got for 100k and a rare machine gun for 5k as the epic machine gun bow has gone up a lot since the last video. The lowest one on auction is now around 300k. If you have the money I suggest going for the epic one as it's going to make a huge difference in damage. Last item I needed was aspect to the end so I could get around the map faster and get myself out of dangerous situations. Also it's needed to get a lot of secrets and it's 100% needed in dungeons. Lastly, I spent around 100k more reforging my armour. I went for smart, but you can go with what you prefer. Altogether, this came up to around 1.5 million, which is pretty cheap. Of course, if you have the money, you can take some of these items and upgrade them to be a bit stronger, but as this video is all about a cheap healer build, I'm guessing you want to keep it that way. So, I got a team together to go into dungeons. We decided on a floor 3, as floor 4 would be too difficult for a budget build. Playing 4-3, I could really tell I was using a budget set as I was dying pretty easy. I found myself running away from most situations the whole round and not really helping out as the mobs would be too strong to hold up against the holy set because healer is the main priority for mobs to target. So we tried a floor 2 and it was pretty decent. I didn't die as much, I was able to contribute to the team more. I managed to complete the floor really quickly and collect all the secrets. My damage was strong enough to fight against the mobs and still maintain HP when attacked. If you really wanted to, you could do decent in a floor 3 but you would just have to stand back and heal your teammates when they need it and not attack any mob. If you stay back, nothing will hurt you and you're still going to be contributing by simply healing. Even though this budget healer build was really cheap, it still wasn't as cheap as budget archer set and the archer set probably had the potential to complete floor 4. To be a decent healer and go on to the higher floors, you're going to have to spend a lot more as it's a class that requires you to basically carry your whole team. If you don't have the money to do so, hopefully you're fine with doing lower floors. If not, you can check out the budget archer set build as it's actually really good or you can wait for the future videos for the budget builds on Mage, Tank and Berserker. Overall, Healer is a pretty hard class to be. It requires the best of the best items. It also requires to pay attention to know when to heal your teammates, use abilities or help them out in any way. If this video helped you in any way, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. If you're going to be buying this budget set, make sure to tell me in the comments. As always, text your pack in my Discord, first link in the description. And that's all for now. See you next time. Goodbye.